Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up and connect multiple different accounts using Passport and Envoy. Multiple accounts are a really great way of segregating different pots of Bitcoin that are all protected by the same seed and passphrase if applied combination. So first off, what we're going to do is add the accounts to Passport. So by default, Passport will set up with just one primary account. This is also known as account zero. So to add an additional account on Passport, I'm going to hit the right arrow and I'm going to choose new account. Then Passport is going to ask us what number the account would be. By default, Passport will increment these one by one as you add them each time. Generally, it's good practice to just follow on with the numbers Passport suggests. But of course, you can absolutely apply any number here that you would like. And then we're going to give the account a name. Now this name can be anything you'd like, but it's generally good practice to name the account in line with what the funds are going to be used for. So for this example, I'm going to call our first additional account, our no KYC account, because this is where I'm going to deposit my no KYC Bitcoin. And that's it, it's as simple as that. The new account has been added to Passport. If we scroll to the left, we can see our account that has just been added. So let's just add one more. There we go, second additional account is added. So the next step is to pair these individual accounts over to the software wallet of your choice. And for the purposes of this demonstration video, I'm going to be using Envoy, our mobile companion app. So on Envoy, I'm going to choose connect an existing passport. Envoy's camera is now open and waiting for a QR code to be displayed by passport. So in our first or primary account, I'm going to head down to Manage Account. I'm going to choose Connect Wallet. And then I'm going to choose Envoy. Obviously, if you're pairing a different software wallet, you would choose that software wallet from the list. And then I'm going to scan the QR displayed using Envoy. There we go, connection successful. And I'm just going to validate a receive address as well, just to be on the safe side. And there we go, Passport has successfully verified the receiving address that Envoy is displaying. Passport indicates the account pairing is complete and we can see it there on Envoy. This account in question does already have some funds in it, but obviously if this is a brand new account that you're pairing, it will of course be empty. So let's add the first additional account. So over on Passport, I'm going to navigate across to our no KYC account. I'm going to head down to manage account again, connect wallet and choose Envoy. Over on Envoy, in the accounts page, I'm going to hit the plus and then I'm just going to repeat these exact same steps that I've just carried out. Once again, scanning the address QR code being displayed by Envoy just to confirm the successful pairing. And there we go, we have the confirmation on Passport. Envoy is now displaying our first account. 
the no KYC one. You can see the name is carried across and the color also matches the account card color displayed by Passport. So let's repeat that for the final account. Again, on Envoy, I'm just going to tap the plus, follow the instructions, which opens the camera, scan the QR code, and then validate the receiving address. Just as a reminder, the, the validate receive address step is not mandatory, but it is good practice just to confirm that Envoy is displaying a, a receive address that actually belongs to our secure device, which of course is Passport. And there we go, we have three accounts successfully paired with Envoy. To receive into any of those, we're just going to tap on the account, hit receive, and we can send to that address. Super simple, I think you'll agree. And of course, there is absolutely no limit to the number of accounts that you can pair between these two devices. One thing worth noting here is that if you do use a passphrase with Passport to add that extra level of protection to your Bitcoin wallet, you will of course need to pair those additional accounts that are contained within the passphrase protected wallet.